Many have tried so many remedies to get rid of belly fat without getting a positive result. But worry not, I will give you some of the simple remedies to those adipose fats. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are watching me from. Thank you so much and God bless if you are a returning subscriber and if you are new to this channel, please try and subscribe. And, and turn on your bell notification so that you will be notified whenever I make a video. So, belly fat has been a problem to so many of us and they can be caused by so many reasons such as the poor diets, the type of diet you take, the type and amount of food you take, and also some of the drinks you consume. So, if you want to get rid of this belly fat that is giving you discomfort or that is making you not to look sexy whenever you put on your clothes, here are some of the remedies. So, one of the things you should do is to eat plenty of soluble fiber. Fiber promotes weight loss by making you feel full so that you can eat less. So, if you consume enough soluble fiber like fruits and vegetables, all those adipose fats will be reduced. Another way is to moderate your alcohol intake. Alcohol may have a health benefit in small amounts, but it can be harmful if you drink it much. Excess alcohol intake increases the risk of developing excess fat storage around your waist. So, cut down your alcohol intake if you want to reduce your belly fat. I don't mean you should stop, you should, you should stop taking it completely. Just limit the amount you drink. And that's all. Also, eat high protein diets. Protein is an important nutrient for weight loss. It helps in weight management. So, high intake of protein re releases the fullness hormone. And it is this hormone that will decrease your appetite to eat and make you full. So, make sure you include a good protein source in your diet, such as fish, your eggs, your meat, and so on and so forth. Another way you can get rid of your belly fat is to avoid eating more sugary foods. Many sugary foods contain refined sugar, which leads to your belly fat gain. So, the more you consume sugary foods, the more you gain belly fat. And also, the more you are exposed to some chronic diseases such as diabetes. So, avoid sugary foods, even if it is natural um, sugar, such as your real honey, it should be used in moderate. It should be used in moderation. So, avoid sugary foods. Another way you can get rid of your belly fat is to do more exercise. You should carry out aerobic exercise, such as you can walk, you can run, you can swim, and others. There are so many aerobic exercises you can do to burn your calories and improve your health. Also, you have to cut back on carbs, especially refined carbs. It is very important if you are trying to lose your belly fat, cut down your carbs, your carbs intake. And also limit the intake of sugar-sweetened beverages because they are high in added sugars, which contributes to belly fat. So, if you are trying to lose belly fat and you are still taking soda, you are still taking sweet teas or alcoholic mixer, alcohol mixer containing sugar, please stop because it is doing more harm than good. Another way you can also get rid of belly fat is to track your food intake. Tracking your food intake doesn't mean you should weigh or measure everything you eat. Just know the amount of calories you consume. Because taking fewer calories than your body needs is the key to belly fat loss. So minimize the amount of calories you take per day. And you can do this by keeping food diary or using online food trackers or apps which can help you to monitor your calories intake. Another way you can get rid of your belly fat is through liposuction. It is a cosmetic procedure used to remove unwanted body fats. So this one, you can't do it yourself. You have to visit a professional or a doctor that knows how to do it. So, this liposuction involves sucking out small area of fats that are hard to lose through exercises and healthy diets. It is carried out in the areas of the body where, where deposits of fats tend to collect, such as your buttocks, your hips, thighs, your tummy. So, wherever fat is deposited on your body, that is where liposuction is carried out. So, if you haven't achieved the desired result, after trying out several remedies to get rid of your belly fat, you can go for liposuction. So, with this, you can be able to remove large amounts of fats within a section. 
it is relatively safe. Just small risks are involved. And those risks are infections. Though it is rare, but skin infections can occur during or after the process. Another risk is that you can get kidney or heart problem during the process. Because as fluids are being injected or suctions or suctioned, the change in body fluid level may cause kidney or heart problems. Also, due to cannula movements, you may have skin burn. And also, it may lead to death if not performed by a professional. So, this liposuction is very, very effective if only you can take the risk because life is all about taking risk. So, take the risk and achieve your desired shape if you like. It's even the easiest. The choice is yours. Go for what you want. So, moderate your alcohol intake, do aerobic exercise, cut back on carbs, don't eat more sugary foods, eat plenty of soluble fiber, eat high-protein diets, limit sugar-sweetened beverages, and track your food intake. Trust me, you will get your desired shape. You will get a positive result. But if you don't have time for all this, you can go for your liposuction. Thank you for listening. And God bless you. Remain blessed. Bye.